um, an asset book is basically how do we want to restrict the financial information about an asset. So uh, each of the asset can have different financial information and depreciation rules in each book. Uh, we can have an in unlimited number of asset books and each book with its own depreciation rules, accounts, calendars, uh, and everything else can be attached in together. So there are uh, two types of uh, books that are available. One is a corporate book. Uh, a corporate book hold, uh, holds uh, all the asset information and post journal entries for all accounting activities. And all this data can easily be copied to a tax book, which will, which is primarily used for uh, tax reporting purposes. Our, uh, our corporate book is assigned to a primary ledger. Our tax book uh, can optionally post journal entries to either a primary ledger or a secondary ledger also. So. When I say it, the data, the asset information gets copied from the corporate to the tax book, that is done by a mass copy uh, process, which is a process of transferring assets and transactional data from corporate book to the tax book. Uh, so uh, this is an enterprise structure on your screen now. So we have a primary ledger, which has a currency in USD. Chart of account is CORP and accounting method is also CORP. Then there's a secondary ledger associated with it, which has a ledger currency of USD. Chart of account is CORP and accounting method is alternate accounting method. So uh, my business unit, which has tables, would feed information into my asset corporate book. And my asset corporate book has to be tied with my primary ledger. And the business you uh, and then through this mass copy process, it uh, it uh, it uh, transfers the transactional information to the asset book, and the asset book can be associated both to a primary and a secondary ledger. Uh, 